The biggest levers in e-commerce dropshipping brand building is content. Content creation and the amount you can output, how you create it and the styles you create and knowing what to make. These are so important. This will increase your revenue. This is how companies are doing a million a month. Yes, people, in this video, I will be breaking down how to create a winning ad. Media buying is obsolete now. It is all about content. So get your notepad out, get your pen, get your coffee and listen carefully. You're probably wondering why you want to listen. I'm Nathan. I've been in the e-com game for seven years. The last three and a half, it has been very successful. I've made over $1.2 million in profit. I wasn't actually posting on YouTube like these other gurus because actually building e-com brands. I didn't have time for it. But now I'm here. I've actually built the business to which I don't need to be involved anymore, which I'll explain again later in date. Before we get into the video, I want to show you my results of the free meal I generated. So as you can see, I'll give this a little refresh. This is 2.5 million in pounds that I've generated, which is probably like 3.2, 3.1 million dollars. Year with year on year growth, as you can see, I did 400k in a month in dollars here. That's 400, 320k pounds, which is about 400k in dollars. But yeah, this business has year on year growth. It is continuing to grow and it is still running to date. The benefits of building a dropshipping brand is incomparable to catching trendy products. Trust me, on this channel, I basically want to teach building dropshipping brands and focusing on one long term business. So if you're looking for a point of reference to learn e-com, you want to join a community, join a network, I've built a free discord in the link below i'm doing free live weekly coaching if you are not taking advantage of this i don't know how i can help you because this is this would cost you thousands i will be releasing like a paid members at some point but for now everything is free so take advantage of that and you can speak to me every week with all your questions on how to get started i'm not even joking join up now so step one on creating a winning ad i'm assuming you've chosen your product you've chosen your niche because that's when you would want to be building an ad you need to understand what is working on the market. You can do this by using Facebook ad library. This is a tool on Facebook where you can see everyone's ads. So step one, create a list of competitors in your niche selling similar products, etc. same niche. Create a list of competitors that you can search up on Facebook and find their ads. So let's dive into the Facebook ad library and I'll show you how to do that. So let's sell in the supplement niche. Dirty is a very good brand. They're doing like 300, 400K a month. So they have been testing ads, they know what's working. So it would be a good idea to look at their ads. So search them up at Facebook, literally just dirty. And then um, basically scroll down on the left and there'll be page transparency, go to see, ooh, go to ad library. This has been done a million times on Facebook and YouTube, but I'm showing you again. And you can literally see all their ads. This is simple stuff, but it's very effective. This is literally what I do to find ads and how to build my ads similarly, because you've you got, you got to do what's working, but give it your own twist. That's literally how e-com works. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. You just need to improve it. So that is essentially how you find competitors ads. So once you've got that list of competitors, go through and just summarize what ads are they doing? What, what type of image ads, what type of content UGC, reviews, unboxing, packaging, just re review all the types of content they're posting about and think, all right, how can I make this? Next part, I wanna get up all ads I see that think I think are performing well and I'll break them down how they have been made and how you can do the same. So this is one of the brands I was looking at. They're doing about 120K per month. Let's say we're in the fashion niche. niche. The first competitor I found, basic dropshipping store, they're doing 100 grand a month in the last 30 days. So this is basically dropship IO you can actually track sales from competitors that you're tracking. So yeah, they're doing 100 grand a month, Beaumont Pictures. I basically searched them up on Facebook ad library and I can look at the ads. They're literally running free campaigns, which is ridiculous. And they turn over 100 grand a month. I'm assuming Facebook and TikTok and Google are their main drivers. They must be spend, spending a lot on Facebook, but li literally look at these. So you're probably, you're probably really stuck on how do I create image ads? So if you're in the fashion niche, and you're selling fashion clothes. Look at this, it is basic images. So I will reverse engineer these. He's literally taken these in a mirror and then removed the background with like some sort of editing software, just taking a photo in the background with the clothes on and then remove the background. It's really that simple. And then they look professional. Like even all, even all their product photos, just taking a picture in the mirror and then remove background and then they look professional. It's really that simple. And that has been working for them and they're making a hundred grand a month and they're literally just taking photos on their phone. So. That is how they've made an advertisement for a fashion brand and it's generally producing revenue that should be profitable with some good copy, just basically sale copy. So if you are starting a fashion brand, 
what you do is you'll create image content of your ads. Very easy. Style people, models, take it with your phone, take it with your camera, so basic. And then put it on Canva, remove the background if you want, or try it with lifestyle. Done. That's literally it. So let's move on to the next company. So I have been looking at like all these companies and I saw someone on YouTube basically say image ads don't perform on Facebook, which is absolute bollocks because my brand, image ads were the best performers, most reliable, better ROAS. And same with all these companies, the big companies, they're all running image ads, um, a lot of them. Yeah, this is literally an ad reminder, time to be energized, AG1. So maybe this is a retargeting campaign, but it's really that simple. They're running image ads and they're running video ads. Um, AG1 is obviously a massive company, but you can still take inspiration. So the next one is Dirty World. They're doing 400 grand a month. They're doing mushroom blends. I think their brand's really cool to be fair. Um, but yeah, I want to look at their ads. Let's say you're in the mushroom niche or in a supplement niche and you want to do something like that. You basically go to their website, go on their Facebook ad library and have a look. Um, these guys' ads are actually very basic to make. Um, and can be easily repeatable. Just the branding's really good, I thought. But yeah, let's look, have a look at their ads and break down how these are made. The day I took those two mushrooms in the morning, I was like, oh my God, did I just become superhuman overnight? These ads work really well for the health niche and supplement niche. It's actually so easy to replicate. So, someone speaking into a mic, so you can either send, pay, you can pay someone like $50 to speak into a podcast mic who has some sorts of social influencer. So you could look to pay someone or you could do this yourself, just get a mic set up and film yourself talking into a mic as if you're on a podcast. Two options, you either hire someone with an editor as well, or you do it yourself. It's really that simple. And they're so basic, it doesn't really need much edit in this sort of stuff, and it probably converts really well. So you could do this for very cheap and you could make loads of versions. Obviously, if you are doing this, you would have to script the video. This is a scripted video to convert. So you as a company would send it to someone and say, hey, can you talk, use these bullet points to talk about. Let's, let's check out another video. So, I wanna break this one down as well. This is so easy to make. You can do this one yourself for free. So, they've basically done like a, a review site as if someone has received the product if they purchased it, which is like so easy to do. So, basically just film it with your phone, put a little tag on it as if you put it on your story and you're just posting that as an ad. It's really that simple. Just review what's working in the market and think how can you recreate this. So, these ads I think are really good examples of like a good ad and this is what shitty dropshippers aren't doing. They're not getting really good custom content. So, if you want to build a long-term brand and actually compete with people, ads like this would do the best. In the dirty world, we are launching today our very own mattress so this is a lot easier to make than you think basically they've got a script and someone is talking into a camera with a microphone obviously they want better quality you don't need to do that but if you want better quality microphone film it on your phone and then just get a cheap editor you could get someone to edit that for $20 to put the graphics on with the script it's really that easy and you can find those on Twitter Upwork anywhere Fiverr I've broken everything down and reverse engineered the ads you've got image ads at work UGC professional where you're just talking into camera but there's loads of styles of ads so Choose your niche, look at what they're doing and figure out what's working and then reverse engineer and figure out how you can do this with your own twist. So there is one thing I wanted to talk about that a lot of these e-com gurus really like advise, which I think is fucking stupid, is people teach you to rip content and steal it. This is the worst thing you can do, especially for Facebook. If you get caught stealing content, you're gonna get banned, you're gonna get blacklisted, you're gonna struggle with launching ads, you're gonna struggle with your profiles getting banned. Like, you will just come into consistent long-term problems. So I advise, follow the steps, look what's working on the market, recreate it in a different way with your own branding and actually build a real business. Don't just steal other people's content like these guys on YouTube are showing you to because it will have long-term negative effects, I can assure you. So to conclude, the steps, find the competitors, get that listed, look at their ads, figure out what is working, reverse engineer the ads and figure out how you wanna make your ads incomparable to what is working in the market with your own USP, own branding, etc. So thank you for listening. Drop a like, subscribe. If you're not in the Discord, join it now. Peace and love.